Welcome back, CSE 121, Fall 2020, Programming 1. We're working on list exercises, and this is another intro exercise to lists, and it's called Sum of Negative Numbers. It sounds pretty exciting. What we're going to do is we're going to sum up negative numbers from a list of all kinds of numbers, positive and negative, and then we're going to sum them up and get their average. So we're going to use a sum function, a len function, and we're also going to use an append method to create our negative numbers list that we pull from our nums list. So that sounds exciting. Let's just get started. So in your repels, again, go into your CSC 121 folder if you have it and create a new repel. And this will be 17 and it's not Python with turtle. It's just regular Python and it's going to be 17. You could just call this sum neg nums, sum neg nums. And you could put your last name first initial and that's all you have to do and create your repel. And I'm going to close this up. And the first thing you could do here is create your nums list. And we're just going to do this manually. So sometimes I give this to you, but we'll just, just create a nums list. And you could use anything for this, but if you want to do this, at least it'll follow the video. So we're going to actually create this. Now you could do a for loop and create it from some number to some number, but we'll just start one that has negative numbers and positive numbers. We'll just start at like negative seven negative six, negative five, and going all the way up to four. So we have all these numbers here. So and what we want to do is pull out the negative numbers and put them into a neg nums list. We could just make an empty neg nums list to start with empty brackets. And we're going to pull out numbers from there and add to them. Now you might say, well, why don't we just do this? Why don't we just copy that and paste it there? Then we'll be done. Well, let's learn how to do it with programming. So we're going to do that by just pulling out the negative numbers by using an if statement. So we have to figure out which numbers are negative, And that's pretty obvious. They're less than zero. So that's going to be our condition we're going to use to pull those numbers out and append them to the neg nums list. So we have to go through all the numbers and determine which ones are negative. So first, what we're going to do is say for i in nums, we're going to cycle through the list. I always do that. I always put in in or forget something or forget the i. So it's for i in. Don't forget to do that. So we're going to cycle through nums. And then we're going to determine, just like last time we determined even odd numbers, we're going to determine which numbers are negative, which means less than 0. So we can use an if statement here and just say if i, because i is what's going through that list, we're going to say if i, because i is going to be each iteration in that list when it goes through it, when it goes through that range, if we say if i is less than 0 as it goes through the list, then we're going to append to negnums. And remember, when we use the method, we say negnums dot, and then we use the append method. And then what are we going to append? We're going to append i and it will append if it's less than zero. And it'll be part of that neg nums list. And what we could do before anything is just print out our neg nums just to make sure that it's doing the right thing. So we'll print out neg nums after that just to make sure it's working. So that's all we have so far. And we're just gonna make sure that it pulls out negative seven through negative one and it puts it in that list. And there they are. So it's getting all the neg nums. So we now have a new list called neg nums, and it has the negative numbers. Then what we're going to do is we're going to sum them up and average them up. Again, we're using a very small example here, but obviously if this was a, a giant example, our code would be a lot more necessary. Certainly we can add up ourselves, but if we had a giant list, that would be very hard to do by eye, and the chances of making mistakes would be a lot more. So it's 28, so this adds up to negative 28, and then we're even going to get the average, which is going to be the, these average numbers here, which is basically going to be 28 divided by how many numbers that are here, which is the length, which would be seven. So obviously the, you know, the average here would be somewhere in the middle, negative four. So that's what we're going to do next. And we're going to print them all out. So let's print out the sum of the neg nums. And that's easy enough. We could just go over here and say print. And we're going to use the sum function. And we could do this inside the print parentheses. We'll say print sum. And then it's just going to be the sum of neg nums, which should come out to like negative 28. So we're just going to print out the sum of neg nums. And then we're also going to print out the average. And the average is going to be, now you can make a variable here if you just want to say, instead of trying to put everything in a print statement, just like we did here, you could say average equals, and it's going to be the sum of neg nums divided by the length of neg nums, which is len. 
and it's again these are built-in functions sum and len are built-in functions whereas append is a method of lists but we can use sum and len on lists and we're just going to put the list names in here and we should come out to something like negative four should be our average here now we'd have to print out average and again we're just trying out some stuff here so we have our list of numbers positive and negative we have an empty list that's waiting for negative numbers this for loop is just checking to find all the negative numbers and then it's going to append them to that list and then we're just printing out the neg nums just to make sure we have it and then we're going to print out the sum of the neg nums we don't even have to print out the sum of the neg nums but we can do that just to make sure we're doing everything okay. So we have three print statements. We're gonna have the neg nums list, we're gonna have the sum of them, which should be like negative 28, and then we'll have the average, which should be negative four. So we're just making sure everything's working here, that we're doing this with a very small example. So let's check it out. And we have negative 28, and you could always put you know, uh, some kind of string in here to make it look a little bit nicer, but that's all you need for now. So that's 17, and that's sum of negative numbers, so that was a way to kind of strip that out by using conditional statements and appending to a new list. And then even just using an expression here, or calculation that determine the average, which we've done before when we did grades and things like that. So that's all you have to do for sum of neg nums. Once you're done with this and you get this set up, just to share it scroll down copy the link and then you're going to add a comment and insert that link into your assignment in unit 14 for fall 2020 so we'll move on with some more list exercises